Welcome everybody, it's Nick, or you might know me as the voice of Nick, or you might also know me as the guy who makes that one podcast uh, about Twitch. I do a lot of Twitch stuff, and uh, I have never shown you guys what it looks like inside of my live streaming space here, other than this wall that you've probably seen a lot in the background of my videos. So let's go take a look at uh, the inside of the voice of Nick's streaming lair cave thing. All right, let's do it. You're going to get excited. You're going to get probably scared and there's going to be a lot of dust. So prepare yourselves. So this is kind of the main uh, area here where I play video games. You stole my boxes. Everyone's taking, this is my room. Get out of my room. These are all my things. You may recognize a computer, a keyboard, a mouse, controllers, dust, 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 dust everywhere. There's dust all over the place. I uh, don't dust in here that much, but you can see I have the two monitors. You might notice I always look over to the left when I'm checking chat because it's where I keep my chat screen. Joni's saying, I don't fail at nothing. Runs in a tree at full gallop. Hey partner, I meant to do that. Oh my God. I have sort of my controllers ready to go here in front of the very dusty computer, <laughs> computer monitor. Uh, so we got the PS2, classic uh, PS2 controller. We got the PS4 generational switch and it's got the plug, you know, constantly plugged in. I got my 360 controller, which doesn't stay constantly plugged in because I noticed that my PC will never go to sleep if it's plugged in. Um, so I just keep it on there and I actually plug it in during the shows. So it's essentially a wired controller despite being uh, wireless in, in theory. And then I have my uh, headphones on this little hook over here, which I'm pretty proud of. Actually uh, setting up a little hook for that. And you can see back here, this is where I... Um, switch out the game. So the PC is plugged in right now to my monitor, but I actually have, you can see Switch, you can see, what's this one? PS4, Wii U, PS2, PS3. You got all the platforms here and I actually just switched those out in order to go to the next stage. Ready? This is stage one. Stage two, we got the second monitor over here. You can see me walking around. Whoa, I'm walking on the computers. Look at me, I'm a computer man. Wait, or a second PC actually. There's another computer over here um, where the stream happens. So we got OBS set up. I have my little keyboard. I can press button on here, switches, stuff. It's not even a stream deck or anything fancy. It's literally a number pad that I bought on Amazon and it has, you know, as many numbers as are on a computer number pad, and I just press those buttons to switch. Um, so yeah, I have this second PC, which really helps with, um, you know, you don't have to worry about the performance of the game screwing with the performance of the stream. And then you may notice, very fancy light canceling technology. I actually own blackout curtains, but I never installed the, <laughs> the, the, the uh, rod on the top, so I literally just, uh, used some uh, lighting clamps and clamped a series of towels and clothes pinned some other towels to my window so that it's always essentially you might think that I would want to leave it open so that the daylight comes in but I don't like to have it be inconsistent based on the time of day so I just use these two lights and I know that it's always going to be the exact same you know lighting situation no matter what time of day it is cut from the same cloth as the briny depths of the ocean or something. And then, yeah, you can see that when I'm sitting in my chair, we got this light pointing at my face. We got this one, which is like a straight up house, you know, like room light that points at my face as well. And you can see that this is just a very simple, like Ikea, Amazon lamp that I put a uh, diffusion paper on it's the perks of being a film guy but you can get diffusion paper you know super cheap like five bucks uh, on B&H or Amazon or something some of my stuff hanging on the walls here got the uh, Infinity War poster I also have another Infinity War poster I should probably get an Endgame one but there's two Infinity War ones that one's pretty cool I think they're both pretty cool 
And then we have the replica Kenner Star Wars toy, original sealed copy of Metal Gear Solid on the wall, like that one. And then of course the cowboy hat sits there because you gotta have a cowboy hat. Yeah! At all times. Yeah! Within arm's reach. Where, what is this area here? What are you saying, game? We got the uh, MSX fan magazine, which is uh, featuring, as you may notice, Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake. I got this one in Tokyo, framed that. Put up the old police knots. It still got the amount of yen that it cost. It looks like it was 2,680 yen, which is like $26 in uh, US. Snatcher as well. It's like a Kojima wall over here. These are all Kojima things. Do you like the pain? <laughs> what? Excuse me? He's not my favorite Metal Gear Solid villain, but I, I you know, I appreciate his boss battle. And then uh, this is a copy of, or a Shadow of the Colossus poster for the PS4 remaster that I got at PlayStation Experience one year. I also have another hat here that doesn't get used as often. This is the, uh, the uh, Fancy Man hat. Jolly good show. I have a top hat, but I never use it because I haven't perfected my British accent yet. I'll get there. This is not a good one. And then on this lamp, we have hanging a second microphone that I use. Uh, this one, it, I just use it for its microphone purposes because of the way the stream works. The mic that I actually talk into in the stream does not connect to the PC that I'm playing on. It connects to this PC. So if you want to use a mic that goes into this one, you have to use a different mic. So you can't actually just use the mic that... That's why it's harder for me to do like Twitch things and stuff. I have to do all this particular setup stuff. He stood on her balcony. This is pretty appropriate for a vampire. She could hear the cars go by or the horse carriages on the dirt road of Transylvania. Got some soundproofing, which actually does help. Uh, I have soundproofing here and on the inside of the door behind me. And uh, on this back wall, if you've never seen kind of the, in detail, we got a little Simon and Garfunkel album here, Parsley Sage. Got the Supremes, Can't Hurry Love, 45 uh, sheet, Yellow Submarine toy. This is the Logan poster that you probably always see in the background. It's probably the most prominent thing in the background. Um, Dave Clark 5 album, The American Tour. I've never, never actually listened to this particular album, but I love the Dave Clark 5 and it's got some good pictures on it. They're sort of a British invasion, you know, kind of early, early Beatles-esque band, but they're really great. Harry Potter and the Cursed Child poster. I got to see that in New York City. Got some uh, press badges and, and other stuff. Um, this is actually a really cool piece. This is the Dark Souls, original Dark Souls map from uh, Dark Souls 1, but it displayed in kind of like a graphic art style. Um, you can see it goes all the way down to the underground areas. Um, you can recognize a lot of the stuff here if you really look for it, like the Firelink Shrine is here, um, and Orlando is on top. Is that a kill? Oh my god! No! No! We got flushed down the giant meat toilet! Got a Defenders poster that I got from one of the Comic Cons. Tommy by The Who, of course, one of my favorites. Uh, Painted Black. Great song. And then uh, this thing, which is a paper theater, I think they called it. I got this in Tokyo at the Gundam front, um, which is like the life-size Gundam thing. And you can see it's like a 3D uh, scene of the original Mobile Suit Gundam guy killing a Zaku. It's pretty cool. It's kind of hard to put together, though. And then this back area is actually just a mirror. So, hello. Yeah, and that's that's it. Also, we have this hideous uh, bunch of trash. So right next to my computer, right computer, da, 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 I ha just literally have a pile of water bottles <sighs> crushed <laughs> on the floor because I uh, have a trash can, but I moved it into another room and I just throw the water bottles on the floor now. So that's where we're at. That's where we're at. The more I uh, use a trash can, the more it just uh, fills up. So I end up throwing them on the floor anyway. And that's what the uh, that's what the office looks like here. You got you know computers. You got video games. A lot of video games. A lot of computer stuff. 
a lot of artwork. I've tried to frame and put up as much artwork as I can. Um, a lot of trash on the floor, as you may not have guessed. That, that might be a surprise to you. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed looking through it. This, that's my, uh, my area here. If you ever want to see any more uh, you know, stuff from here, you want me to sort of deep dive into some of the stuff that I have or some of the things that I, uh, that I have here, then uh, let me know in the comments, I guess. And thanks for watching, guys. This is a, a new thing for me. So keep your eyes out for more stuff, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.